Well, I want to thank each of you for joining us this evening, and we are just so deeply appreciative of your presence tonight. We pray that uh, it will be a blessing to you. There's transformation happening in everyone's life. This is this program is what loving is about. It's about the body of Christ coming together and just being who we were created to be. And that's in relationship with each other. The mission of Love Inc. is to mobilize the churches to transform lives and communities in the name of Christ. On any given Thursday, you will find us here with approximately 60 volunteers representing 25 local churches using their gifts and talents to serve each other. Some of the areas of service include we have teachers and assistants, deaf interpreters, drivers and assistants, prayer warrior team behind the scenes praying every day for this ministry. Every Thursday night there's a meal here, a complete meal for everyone to fellowship together. Um, we're going to uh, confer the certificates of completion. Um, these certificates are awarded to the students who have successfully completed their most recent 13-week class. The first class we want to recognize this evening is a new image class taught by Sherry and Jim Bunyard. This is our new image class from the past session. Every one of these neighbors brought such love with them, and they all had a small measure of what the Bible was and who Christ was. It's called the Affirming Potential class. The objective of the Affirming Potential class is to help participants start a life-changing, lifelong journey to face and accept their past, to better understand the present as they learn, lean into it, and embrace their future. In our class, we start with how the brain works, and sometimes we wonder, do we have one? Do they have one? I'm always based on Christian principles. Everyone did such a wonderful job, and they did so much sharing back and forth. Next class we want to invite up is the Alpha class. A, the first A, is anyone interested in finding out more about Christian faith? L, that's the important one. They, they start out with learning, but, and laughter is the big part, and laughter. <laughs> P is for pasta or pie, but we sometimes have sloppy joes or it's good food. And then H is helping, helping one another and everyone in the small group. And the last day is for asking anything. Now, if there's a place where you can ask your question, please ask me. So, when a woman decided to send her whole family Bible to her brother, she went to the post office and the postal worker asked her, is there anything breakable in this package? And she responded, only the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Another part of the outdoor course is prayer. And so we try to help them with prayer.
is joy and it also is scary and I'm sad all at the same time with so many emotions. Um, I started loving after I was lost when I started loving. I have been a recovering addict for seven years and eight months. And but when I started loving, I was five years out. And everything in my life still wasn't together. You know, they tell you in detox and the NA classes, and what you plan is not going to get better. That's a lie. Because it didn't happen that way. And I still had to work and struggle to get to where I am now. You know, Mr. Harris delivered me a washer and dryer in one of my homes, and he prayed with me, and he told me about the classes and the stuff that was going on in my life. I couldn't make it work. Um, he came again when I moved to Stanton and bought me a dining room table <laughs> and told me that, um, are you ready? <laughs> I said, well, you ready to have surgery, you know, on my back. And he said, well, after surgery, you can sign up. And I'm not really for sure how the letter got to me, but it was in my mailbox. So after I called many signs, I'm like, okay, this is what I need to do along that way. So it's kind of like she told me that God made me the way he wanted me to be, you know, and that he's not done with me. Because I feel like I'd be so blessed. Four beautiful children, and God has given me so many different chances, and I refuse to waste any more. You know, and this so much like last year I suffered, and Mr. Bill came and see me in the hospital. We also learned about the way that we could. God forgives us. All I had to do was get on my hands and knees and tell God that I'm ready for him to take over my life and to lead me in the right direction he wanted me to go and to forgive me for all my sins. And he did. It's like once I asked that, everything just started happening. Like he would take the toxin out of my, out of my life and make me stronger. And Mr. John taught me that, he taught me how to trust again. Renewing Your Mind, I did with Pastor Bruce, and that was a wow class. You know, the heart charts had me all over the place. You know, so <laughs> um, he taught me that other people in the room can preach besides my grandfather. You know, <laughs> 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 that it's okay to go to church broke. I learned that in financial management too, that you don't have to pay to go to church. It's okay if you don't have nothing to put in the pool, then it's still go. I love you all so much. You have changed my life. I love my friends. I love you, Joel. Forever. We have seen each other for a lot. So, and I love my family. Can my family stand up? I want y'all to see my support system. Okay. Because they are I'm so blessed to have them. I'm so blessed that they never gave up on me.
is the truth. So keep that, everything you said tonight, keep it in your hearts. Yes. Maybe even read it once in a while when things aren't going so Well, Lord, uh, what a blessed night. As I, as I listen tonight, I just hear so many amazing stories of how you're working in all of us. And how when we're all together, we make a pretty good bunch of people. And we love to serve you. We love being loved by you. And as we go out tonight, we just thank you that we're able to gather like this and freely praise you, Lord, the one who loves us all. We thank you for this time, for all those gathered here tonight. We pray for safe travel home. And everyone said, Amen. Amen.